and then was like, yo, so could you paint my album cover? And I was like, it's lit. You know, mind you, I'm in, I'm like a year in to to New York and like struggling bad, you know what I'm saying? But going, like struggling up, like I'm like broke, fucked up outside, you know what I'm saying? What's good, everybody? Welcome to Noteworthy. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. It's funny because like Wes is a mystical creature. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first heard this shit, I've never seen him before a day in my life. When I met him, it was literally because I hit him up on Facebook. I would I would like post his joints, like his songs with different little videos on my Instagram, on Facebook. And I hit him up on Facebook and he picked me up from McDonald's one time, just on some random shit. You know what I'm saying? And I and like at this time, I had not even had all my music together. I didn't have no art together. I was just like big ideas. I'm like, yo, we can do this and da 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 da. I just I just knew my background was art. And I fucked with I fucked with his old, whole imagery. And I'm like, yo, I wanna help however I can. I'm like, I just gotta get shit lit. Cause at that time he was still he had, he hadn't even it was a lot of shit didn't happen yet. This was early. I think I met him in 2013. Um when I met when I did the painting for him, I moved to New York first. I remember calling him in like 2017, end of the year. I'm like, yo, I'm about to move to New York. Cause mind you, I had dropped trap trap rage, um, did my shit in Buffalo, but I feel like I hit a ceiling in Buffalo in terms of like what I was able to do. Like I have shook shit up there, crazy, you know what I mean? Then I'm like, all right, what else is it to what else is it to the thing to make it happen? Because I think being in Buffalo, you feel like, oh, yeah, if I get shit lit here, then it's boom. And I'm like, nah, it's something else. And I knew it from looking at him, you got to travel. Like the one thing I learned from Wes is he put himself in the world, in the places that you got to be at to show people who you are, you know what I mean, to make yourself seen. And I told him straight up, I'm moving to New York. I told him, I'm going to move to New York. I'm about to do a painting for you that you going to love. You know what I'm saying, and I ain't, and it's crazy because I was talking to my friends about this. I don't even know what I was thinking was gonna happen. I don't even know. I just was like so driven on some like believing in myself, believing in everything that I'm doing. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna do a pain for you, so crazy, and I'm telling it to myself too. Like I'm gonna do a pain for this man, so fire that he gonna love it, and it's gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? And I did the painting of him and Kanye. I did a piece. Of him and I know this shit is like I told him this is going this was gonna happen like it like the paintings that I was doing at that time was like on some it was more mixed in with my music because I was just painting free what I felt like would happen or what I wanted to happen and I did a David and Goliath of him holding Kanye head with Kanye face like you know what I'm saying and it was like a collage painting part uh it was like a surrealist painting painted that joint for him showed it to him he pulled up to New York. And then was like, yo, so could you paint my album cover? And I was like, it's lit. You know, mind you, I'm in, I'm like a year in to to New York and like struggling bad, you know what I'm saying? But going, like struggling up, like I'm like broke, fucked up outside, you know what I'm saying? Don't really got, got no ways to make money other than like helping Haji and I'm trying to like. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Nigga said struggling up. Yeah. That's very different. Just struggling, going all the way. Yeah, because I, I like I, that term, bro. I never heard that in my life. For real, because it's like when I when I what I mean by that is like I was I knew I was taking a risk that was helping me to grow. So it's like you could struggle and be in the same position and not be learning nothing from it. I knew that the struggle that I was going through, I chose it because I I I was working construction before I left Buffalo. I had a job. I was able to pay for the studio. I was comfortable. But it's like that comfortability is what keep people in that position because it's like, oh yeah, if you're not growing and learning or feeling something, you like you you cozy, you know what I mean? You're not. I just felt like, yo, moving to New York is the thing that I need to grow as an artist. Like I felt like I needed that change, that energy to see people that's actually like, especially being a rapper too. Like I mean, as a rap artist, I'm like, I can't be working a job and how am I how am I gonna be at these events if my time is on them. 
they like, nah, you can't go nowhere. I got a call from Republic Records in 2016. First time ever going to LA, they flew me out there. That was before I, before the painting with West, all of that. They flew me out to Republic Records and motherfucking, that shit changed a lot for me too. Cause it was just like, it showed me like, oh, it was like, and I was tripping too. I was tripping balls when I went to the meeting. Like, it was like the Wizard of Oz. Like I seen the veil unlifted of the industry. And I'm like, oh. So, and in and, and terms of like that answered the question, like what else is it that you got to do? I'm like, oh, you got to fucking travel. You got to be in the world. You can't just be in your spot and do the thing and think that that's going, yo, I'm over here. It's like, you got to get to them spots. You got to be on location. Like they brought me to LA to see me. You know what I mean? That stuck in my head. I'm like, damn, they brought me here for a reason. That mean like I got something. I got to go out into the world and let other people know. There's, and that's basically what they told me. Like I spoke with everybody there from the vice president to the 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 president of the urban department. They're like, you got to get into the world, man. Like we got to see this moving the needle, see what you do with the kids. And I'm like, okay, boom. I'm going to move to New York. And I told Wes, because I had already been doing stuff with Wes before that. Like I helped them with the, um, the first video that they did for... When they got signed with Shady, they did a video with um, Just Blaze, and he had me starring that joint. And I like went and got all the kids. He, I, he helped. I helped him to like get all the kids and shit. We did like our own version of Kids for the video for the Machine Gun Black video, and that was like my first time working with him on some creative shit. Like he like yo pull me in, do this, I did the acting shit, blah blah blah. And that was even a symbol for me because if you watch that video, I feel like that video was him passing me the torch. Like, all right, I see you. I got this thing going. You with the cool kids. And that was like the spark of the Buffalo kids. Like, all right, these are the Buffalo kids right here. Boom. Now I'm like, I got to get into the world so that that video ain't just online. So when people see the video, they like, yo, is that the kid from the West Side Gun video? That could happen in Buffalo for so long, but that don't mean shit if you ain't, you know what I mean? And yeah, that's why I did that painting for him. When he seen the painting, he asked, asked me to do the album. And that was big for me because that was like my first lick for the team, like working with Haji. Um, I was helping him with stuff, but bringing the money play was like, yo, that got, I was able to put money into the pot with that. You know what I'm saying? I think I got, I don't even remember how much I got because we split all the shit. We did like six paintings. He asked me to do one joint and I'm like, got you. Six of them shits. Me, Haji, yoga. I did a joint by myself. I did the uh, Benoit joint by myself. That was the album that it was for. I need to have three different covers for that joint. And that shit just was a blessing because it was like, it, it was motivating. It was a way for also for my peers to see my work in the world and see me doing something. And I felt like Wes knew, knew that. He knew like, okay, this kid out here doing this thing amongst these other great kids let me see how I could give them a bone so that they could see like, oh yeah, he great too. You know what I'm saying? Cause when they seen him pull up for me, like I feel like at first they was like, he pulling up, he said he pulling up. And when he pulled up, they was like, he pulled up for him. And I was like, yeah, I told you he was pulling up. 